because part of my teaching philosophy is that I want my students to learn forever and not just while they're in my class. It's really important to make them take the steps that allow them to become independent learners. And the way that I've done that is in all of our anatomy and physiology labs, we've um, flipped those labs. So I have created online lessons that they do before they come to, to class and those lessons are interactive. So they have to practice all of their anatomy before they get to the lab and learn the physiology. And then when they come to lab, they're prepared, they're ready to go, and they're able to come into that lab and extend what they learned in their online lessons. And that makes them responsible for at least a portion of that learning on their own without being spoon-fed. They have to think about what they're doing and why they're doing it. You know, if you teach somebody something and give them a story that goes along with it, they'll remember that better. But if you give them the material with the story and make them laugh, they're going to remember it even better. Uh, so I think, I think there's both rigor as well as accessibility there. That's a very powerful approach. Multiply that out by, you know, how many students she teaches, and that's a, it's a tremendous impact. The fact that she is so flexible that she can teach equally as effectively, whether it's in person or online, I think that goes to show how she is very malleable in terms of being able to change with the times and teach for whatever you, know, you might consider to be effective in present day. My students are amazing. They deserve a chance to become educated people, to improve their lives and the lives of their families, the lives of their children. I, I just can't imagine anything that I could ever possibly do that would make such a big difference.